standard or a substandard pass? It will be substandard. That's a fact because that's all we do is substandard. Right. That's all so we know how to do. That's it. This is definitely substandard. Substandard. So um, we got up there, and uh, the weather was started out pretty good, but then it got a little humid. Um, but uh, our first pass blew the tires off. That's pretty much what happened the last time we were up there. We just kind of blew the tires off. Wasn't just us. Michael blew the tires off on one of his early hits or something. And then we pulled back around, and uh, Pirate um, was in there beside us. And we uh, <laughs> we laid it to him pretty good on that one, and then we just came around and we did it again. And I red lit. I think I was 006 red. Yes, I was 006 red. I'm cheating. Um, and Pirate didn't make a great pass either, as you can tell in the video. We just drove out of his life, so it's you know. It, but it was fun. It's you know, it's the track wasn't looking too sporty at that point, or you know, it could be us. We got a lot of passes on those Mickeys. I think we're right around 230 hits on those tires, so they are definitely getting ready for a change. But 
you know. So anyway, let's move on, see what happens next. David ran. What David run? A 852. I missed third. He missed third. And a 755. There we go. Walking on first. Man in a mission. Okay. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? What happened? Balked. Wait. And what blue missed third. What are you trying? What are you trying to get away from the camera? Why you get camera time now? Huh? Why you get camera time now? Show me your superpower eye again. <laughs> this is a guy, you know how he lost his eye? He got tired of seeing double all the time, so he just took it out with a spoon. That's how he did it. He just, some guy he just some, wanted to make sure he got the right lane all the time. Yeah, yeah. Some guy wanted to fight him and he said, You think you're tough? Watch this. He pulled his own eyeball out and ate it. 760. Yeah. 61 or something? something like that. David went a 55. On his second pass. 13 minutes until 6:50 and 28x run again. Got to turn it up a notch. What? I'd be stupid. So first be stupid. or second round. Stupid. There will I'd not be, be first and second. All right. Well, we brought ours around and parked it, and everyone just started kind of doing some free for <laughs> free for all passes. Uh, David made a few hits. You saw that one of them was a 55. That was a good hit for him. The other one he missed a gear. You know, stuff happens. Um, trying to get a little handle on the track. Both him and Jonathan. This was uh, Jonathan had had his slicks on his car, some true slicks, and um, as you can tell in the video, uh, the clutch was getting a hold of it a little bit. So um, they were trying to get that figured out. And on the flip side, it looks like Pirate needs some new slicks. That car is just crushing the tires now. Every pass, those Hoosiers are pretty old. He's got quite a few passes on them. Um, so. You know, probably time for him to get some tires and uh, maybe make his day a little bit better. But David, it's nice to see David making some some decent hits and or some good hits. And it was nice to see Jonathan making some good hits too. You know, we have our struggles, our days where we struggle, and you know that we just accept those. Um, but we hate to see. When our friends get to come up, when our friends come up there and they have struggles too, it's frustrating for us also. So, anyway, let's move on to something else exciting. And you guys got to see Kevin's laser eye. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, it's actually this eye. Whatever. It's terrible. I'm coning you guys, man. Your stick shoots are killing my start line. Bro. Come on.
Where's Wait the, a minute. Where's the director? What did you just say? Let's repeat the beginning of this conversation. What did you say you have to do? I said I had to get my snicks balanced because a big old weight no, came no, off. No, no, no. Rebalance. Rebalance. Because a big old weight came off. That means he's done it previous. Right. That guy needs to get his rebalance also. Hey, yeah. that, that's not substandard work. No. Know. What the hell was I thinking, right? That's science. Science. I magic. don't understand it. I'm just hoping that the people on YouTube understand it. Now, there's going to be, I promise you, there's going to be someone that's going to say, yes, they balance their slicks, they do all this, they probably put tubes in them and all the way you're supposed to do it with the baby powder and all this kind of stuff. Never use tubes, never balance. Never balance. Never what about screws? I do use just screws. Take the other weight off and they'll be fine. Time. Well, the ones yeah, on the blue and silver right. car, they were moving that one time, so I did it. And when they're it's already drilled for screws, why not right next to each other that long? And one got knocked off. Well, actually, both got knocked off. I couldn't find the other one, so I taped the one back on ahead. Did you know, you, you I'm going to be honest. Mile an hour tape? I use metal tape, yeah. That you look a little sciencey in that shirt. I don't know why. You just have, there's an air of, look. it lends credibility to what you're saying. You look like a scientist. I mean, you look very, when you're talking, you look like you totally believe what you're saying. You're being nice saying you're a geek. It is. No, I'm just. People, when I say stuff, they think I'm lying a lot. Well, there's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they think you ought to be at the street corner with a piece of cardboard. So. <laughs> well, one thing for We'll sure, eat someone... apple for money. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or, or in your case, has eaten apple for money. <laughs> hey, $3. The core. $3, $3 is $3. $3. <laughs> exactly. You can slice that however you want. Yeah. No pun intended. I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Although I have a feeling it's kind of like high school, and he probably would have done it for three pennies. You yeah. just overpaid. Yeah, you guys just overpaid. <laughs> I would have done it just on a dare. <laughs> just a dumb dare, yeah. All right. Well, the staging guy Matt thought he'd pull a little, uh, pull a little joke on us, and you know, you guys are tearing the start line up and put the cones out to move us out of the groove like they do the radio tire cars. Michael was just going to run the cone over. <laughs> he just he pulled right up to it and started pointing at Rad. That's the tree guy. We call him Rad. Um, just started telling him to get the cone out of the way. He's going to just run it over. So anyway, it's just messing around, being playing a joke. And then uh, David came back around, made another good lick. And you saw his pirate cannon. You know, we got the boom tube. He's got a pirate cannon. That thing sticks that far out of the front end. It is crazy looking. So anyway, he made a, he made a lick and then we had a little conversation where he's he talking about balancing his slicks and then there's a thing about someone took a bite of an apple they saw that someone found laying on the ground for three dollars it's just a bunch of just a bunch of stupidity this is what goes on off camera some of it you saw in another video the really long drag racing video that i did that's just basically what goes on the whole time we're there there's a lot of just stupidity um but it's fun for us so anyway let's move on
not going to take the short turn of shame though. He's not that ashamed of it. All right, well, after we got all the slick balancing stuff done, we got back to doing a little inter-squad racing, shirts versus skins and whatnot. Um, David and Jonathan made a hit. Jonathan killed him on the tree and then just proceeded to miss a gear. And David just drove around them. Me and Pirate got up there again. I redeemed my red light and just, you know, we put it on him. I need a few victories against him. He's hammering me down pretty good with his nitrous coupe. So it was nice to get one here and there. Um, Jonathan pulled around. Like I say, we've went from calling the hot lap. If you miss, get all the gears, it's a hot lap. If you miss a gear and go back around, it's a redemption run. We just went, he did not redeem himself. He just put himself further in the hole and then didn't even take the short turn of shame. Not sure what to think about that. But, you know, whatever. Um, so let's move on. was amazing at the finish line how far was he still ahead oh maybe a car link dude he had he had almost two cars on me when he left i was like i know i was like holy shit where's he going probably the reddest i've ever been was it 405 red 405 or 408 red oh, 405 405 well, i was not give it too much i hey, was what's the, what's the tallest i was always chase is a race, chase is a race. <laughs> i was <laughs> always i think nothing. you got in his head dude Burnout, and then when he rolled in, it looked like he rolled the beans. Yeah, yeah, and then he put it back in, and then he just left. Hey, we didn't have any water in there. We couldn't get a tire spinning. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go anyway. Yeah, send it. And I said, well, I guess I'll go after him. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like, where's he going? <laughs> okay. Richard did that to me with the Grand National on the second Amber. He took off. I was like, and he was like this, he went, he was looking at me. I'm like, uh, what do I do now? That was my best pass of the day, but. Pirate decided to go at it, and that was actually a pretty good race. Um, they they did a pretty good job. You'll probably be able to see that on Nimrod's channel. You'll be able to see the GoPro mounted. I can't remember who he had it mounted on, um, or maybe he didn't. That may have been one of the few times he, he had the GoPro basically on the wrong car. Uh, so that was a good race between Pirate and Mission 7. Then me and David pulled up, and I guess David just decided he was doing JJ arm drop on Chase's race because he was dead red. He was gone. He was 405 red. You know, you guys saw that. And then um, Michael and Jonathan pulled up and they just decided to outdo each other on gear missing. They both had issues. It is just, 
it was just a mess. So, you know, moving on. They're lucky Dr. Fear's not around for them. He'd have a blast with those guys. gear message you have today Jonathan okay I'm gonna bring super secret next time and just that join, make me join that good. club yes yes hey how many gear misses do you have today two that all Third, oh okay I, I'm, I'm right on first and second okay I told Jonathan I was gonna bring super secret next time so everybody feel good I'll be right in there with you guys <laughs> I miss four or five huh hey <clears throat> Video right here. What that fuel pressure that gauge? Awesome. Zip tied. Yes. All that stuff. <laughs> that. Magic zip tied too, my Magic zip ties. Yeah. Parker Freight, right? Well, All right, we gotta go. Look, he's getting on Google right now. Figure out what happened. Look at David. Oh. David. <laughs> David. Oh, <man. laughs> exactly. We gotta go. All right, for our next pass, we just pulled around and. Um, we got matched up with a, I thought it was just a Scat Pack car, but it had the Hellcat emblems and stuff on it, so who knows. But um, he didn't have any tires. Saw what happened, he just spun, and that's what happens. So um, he came back around, and the next pass, Pirate ended up uh, getting up beside him, or he got beside Pirate, however that worked out. And Pirate ended up missing a gear. It wasn't a great pass, but he still got the victory. Yawn. Um, he still got the victory, so at that point he just decided he was going to load up. It was getting kind of late. Uh, David was had already changed his tires, and I think uh, Mission Seven Johnny was getting ready to change his. So, you know, um, everybody's getting ready to go. Everybody but us, because we're hardcore. So, let's see what happened next.
Take class. Okay, well, we just made a couple, we made one more hit, and then we hot lapped it just because, you know, we were having a good time and just, you know, it was all fun and games at that point. So we made a couple hits. They were our best passes of the day. And um, we'll show you those slips in a little bit. And then we decided, uh, you know, it was time to go home. And you know what we did? We headed up, loaded up, changed our tires, and went to Whataburger. And I'm supposed to talk about food on the channel. It upsets people. So <laughs> let's go check that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. We're waiting for Pirate to back Black Pearl out. It's a trailer. Or I should say Kevin's trailer. But we, I don't even know how many passes we made. But we had a good time. We got to see a bunch of racing. So the track started out not too good, but came around a little bit. So. So we had a great day. Everyone, we had a great day. No gear misses, um, which is always good. We got home on our own power. Always good. Had a lot of fun. Always good. Those, you know, that was a good day. Great time. Um, good seeing Jonathan up there. You know, Johnny was up there. Pirate. You know, Nimrod. David. Everyone was there. Everyone had a pretty good day. Pirate would have liked to have had a better one, of course, but you know he knows tires are basically kind of shot on it, so he's just making laps. Um, you know, David has some good runs. You know, we had a bunch of laughs, so overall it was a great day. So let's take a look at the time slips real quick and um, see how it all played out on paper, and then we'll be right back to put a bow on this. All right, guys, this is our very first pass, which was completely terrible. The DA was plus 450 and went as high as six something. Um, there's our second pass. We just pulled back around. It blew tires off again. We left a little softer. We let it rest for a few minutes. Came around. That's when we ran Pirate and uh, we red lit. <laughs> so that's bad. Um, are those in order? Eh, close enough. Whatever. Uh, then our next pass was pretty much a carbon copy is a 738, you know, 157, blah, 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 93. Our next pass was a 33. Our next pass was another 33, almost a carbon copy. Then our last two passes of the night were, were a 29. That's a high mile an hour for us too and a 27. So all in all, we were we were very happy with that. How many passes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits, no missed gears. Had a lot of fun. So let's get back. Look at our, this area, our work area is a freaking mess. All right, <laughs> let's get back to the blah, blah, blah. All right, well, there you go. You got all the numbers, you got the DA, you saw what we did. We just had, it all boils down to like what I said earlier, we had a great time. We got to hang out with our friends. We made a bunch of passes. I mean, I don't know what to say. You don't always have great days at the track, sort of. Even a bad day is a good day at the track, but you know what I mean. Some days are just really good, and that was a really good one. We've had a couple of those here lately, and I love it. So anyway, until next time, I know these videos are kind of long, and this, that, and the other because I do stuff like that. So until next time, and no Jack, he's out uh, across the street hanging out. <laughs> um, till next time, once again, until next time, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, and thanks, oh crap. Thanks for watching.
So until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos, Love Real Four Eyes and Vans. We'll see you guys later.